Hi and welcome to another video by Jim the Car Guy. Today we're going to do a, another giveaway. This will be the third giveaway and I'm going to, going to continue doing the giveaways until I run out of products. I do have a couple of other products that were sent to me. But today's product is brought to me by a company, or brought to you by a company called TechPal. Um, I, I did not use the product yet but it was sent to me and I figured I really don't have a use for it so I'm going to pass it on to some lucky subscriber out there. Uh, the booster pack is actually, uh, I will show it to you, it's very small, compact, it fits in the uh, trunk of your car, and your glove box, wherever you want to put it. Uh, you do need to charge it up, so it periodically has to be recharged, but it, it comes in all the directions there, it'll tell you all about it. So let me read you a couple of things that it says here on, the, uh, on the, my, uh, my uh, Amazon page here. Anybody who doesn't know, check out my Amazon store. Uh, I do most of the products that I, that I have in my videos, as well as the products that are given to me by companies that I'm going to give away to you, uh, to you subscribers. Uh, I will have it in my store so you can actually read about it, see if it's something you're interested in, and then pursue it if you choose to. But this one is going to be free to some lucky subscriber. All right, this one here is actually, is called, like I said, it's called TechPow. It's a uh, it's an 800 um, amp peak car jump starter up to a 6.0 liter uh, engine with a 5 point, and it can also jump, uh, jump start up to a 5.0 diesel engine, 12 volt auto battery jump start pack, portable jump starter with smart jump cables, and a quick charge and a flashlight. Uh, what, what, I know most of you people know this, but I'm going to tell you anyway. What it means is the, uh, the smart jumper cables means that if you connect the jumper cables on incorrectly, if you put negative on the positive and positive on the negative, the unit itself won't blow up your battery or cause a problem for you. It will inform you with, uh, with most likely a signal or something that will tell you that the, the cables are incorrect. And at that point, you just rotate them around and you'll be good to go. All right, so uh, enough talking. Let's open this unit up. Let's take a look at it. This is the, uh, the company here. I hope you can see it okay. It looks like you can. Uh, i got a, a glare coming in from the window, but this is the unit itself. So uh, let's open it up, and this, this will be the one that I'm actually going to give away. Before I open this up, I just want to talk about one other thing as well. Um, the last giveaway I had, or the last two giveaways I had, uh, the first time I gave it away, somebody did not contact me to, to claim their prize. Um, and even the second giveaway with the bore scope that I just did a, a couple of weeks ago, uh, I, I actually pulled three names uh, off this random comment picker. The first two failed to contact me, so they didn't uh, uh, get the items. But the third person that I contacted did send me a, um, uh, 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 an email saying that if the other two don't contact me, that, uh, that he is the third person and he's a real person. So uh, I will uh, pull three names when I do the random uh, comment picker. I'll pull three names. The first one, obviously, is going to win it. The first person to win gets one week to email me and let me know their, their mailing information. Uh, if I don't hear from them, I will send a, an email out to the second winner and so on down the line. And each person will have one week in order to, to contact me to claim their prize. Um, I will tell you this, when you do leave a comment, uh, I, I'll tell you what video is going to be. When you do leave a comment, make sure that you put what state you're in, because this contest is only good for the United States. I will not be shipping it uh, out, of the, out of the United States. All right, so uh, make sure you, uh, when you leave a comment, make sure you leave what state you're in as well at the end of it. No state, no, I can't really um, pull your... your uh, your information up and send it to you. So, all right. So, be careful with that. Make sure you uh, you send me the uh, the state that you're in along with your comment. All right. So, uh, the the video that I'm going to attach this to, uh, I just uploaded one the other day. Actually, 14 hours ago, I uploaded this one, and it is the video that uh, that if you leave a comment on this video, these are the comments that I'm going to be pulling or over to my random comment picker, so we can we can we can get a winner. All right, the, the video it's going to be is going to be how to replace rear brakes and rotors on a 2002 to a 2006 Ford Expedition. Um, that was 14 hours ago, like I said. So anybody who, uh, who wants to enter to win this booster pack, um, leave a comment on that video. And from that comments on that video, we'll go into the random comment picker and we'll, uh, you know, we'll pick a winner. Um, 
All right, so enough talking. Let's open this up and let's take a look at it and see uh, see how it works. Um, right. All right. It does come in a uh, in a hard case, just like this here. So this way you can leave it in your trunk or wherever without worrying about damaging it. But like I said, you do periodically need to take this unit out and charge it up in your home or charge it in the automobile, so you can um, so you'll be ready to go when you're. Uh, you know when you need it. All right, this is how it comes in the kit. All right, obviously it'll come with the uh, the user's manual, which I did not open up. Oh, hang on one second there. Sorry about that. I dropped my pen, my Alaskan pen. Okay. Um, all right. So this is the user's manual that comes with it. It does come with all of the pertinent information, I'm sure. I did not even read it. Like I said, this is a spare one that I really am not going to hold on to for myself. Um, it looks like it comes with something you can charge from your computer, and you can probably charge it up. Uh, also, in the cars, as you know, you can charge this most of the time in the car as well. So you can plug this into the USB connector in your car, uh, home, whatever, and then you charge the unit up with that. All right, it does come with the uh, cables, of course. And I thought I saw on the picture here, when this is actually plugged in and turned on, this will tell you right here what the voltage is in the battery, when the, so you know how dead your battery actually is. But like I said, take a look on my Amazon website, and uh, or my Amazon store, and you'll see the product there, and it's, it'll give you the whole description. All right, this is the unit itself. Um, I'm going to rip whoever's getting this. I'm ripping the package open so it's brand new, just so you know. I never used it. All right, this is the unit itself. It's supposed to have a flashlight in here, which I see it does. Give me one second. Let me figure out how this works. They're all basically the same. Um, all right. When you energize it, it shows 98%. I'm very surprised. It says only 98%, so this is fairly fairly decent to charge in. This has been sitting on my bench over here for probably three or four months, something like that. Um, it also has a flashlight, so you can see what's going on if you need some light. I think it does do a strobe, yep, yeah, it does a strobe type thing, where uh, if you need, if you're on the road and you're, you need to have, uh, alert somebody if there's oncoming traffic or whatever, you can use that. All right, let's turn it off. Okay, so that's it. All right, it does come with two USB connectors here and here that you can plug in, and you can use this as a power bank if you needed it to charge up your cell phone, your computer, or whatever. It does have a power bank capability. Uh, this... Okay, I don't know what you would actually use that for, but it does have a connection on the side here that you can actually uh, also connect into. It says that it's a uh, 12 volt, 10 amp outlet. The other ones are the, the USB connectors right here. One of them is a 5 volt, 2.1 amps, and the other is a 5, 5 slash 9 volt. All right, so 5, 9, and 12, it says. That's what it says there. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take these cables like this. We're going to open this up. All right, so that's the unit itself. That's what it looks like when it's all connected. Like I said, it does tell you what the percentage of charge would be. In this case now, it's, it's actually dropping down. It's 86%, which tells me that the unit itself is probably not fully charged because I didn't do anything except turn on the light. So uh, this unit would have to be charged before it would be capable of doing the jump start. You have your negative and you have your positive. And basically, you just connect them up to your positive, uh, positive first, your negative last. Um, and then once you connect it up, you get in the vehicle and uh, you can... Uh, I don't think there's any buttons that you have to press or anything, but like I said, you'll have to read the directions. It looks like once you connect it up, you're ready to go. Um, so that's pretty much it. That's the unit itself. Um, I will tell you this as well. You really cannot make a mistake. You see how one side is square there, the other side is round. 
and also it's got that little area right up underneath the bottom right there that you can't not possibly put it in incorrectly. All right, so this is the unit that we're gonna be giving away. Like I said, I just opened it up, so that's it. We're gonna we're gonna uh, be actually sending this unit here. All right, so again, let me recap this. Um, you're gonna leave a, a comment on the how to replace the rear brakes and rotors on a 2002 to a 2006 Ford Expedition. Anybody who leaves a comment on that video, I will pull the names from this particular video for the random comment picker so we can send this to, to, the, uh, to the lucky subscriber. I think we're losing the battery, so don't go away. Let me change the battery pack. All right, welcome back. Thankfully, I have a spare battery pack, so we don't have to worry about, uh, about that. But that's it. We're good to go. All right, so I will put this video up, of course. Uh, and leave comments on that one there. Make sure that you put down what state you live in because, uh, as I told you the last time, it'll be a problem if you don't. Um, the, the next giveaway I'm going to do, let me just think of what else I have in there. I think I have a, a, a camera that was sent to me that you actually mount up on your dashboard so you can, um, you can record when you're driving down the road so you can record the, any kind of um, whatever is in front of you. All right, so that'll be the next giveaway. I'm not sure exactly when I'm going to do it. We'll see how this one goes, and then we'll go from there. All right, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.